Are you looking for the best school districts right here in Tampa Bay area? First thing, this is not a one size fits all type of deal. Hillsborough County is full of many great school districts. A lot of your decision will come down to where you want to be in relation to work, if you have to commute, and what is best for your child. But do not make your home buying decision based solely on the Hillsborough County School District that the home might be in right now. The school board changes the districts on these boundary lines very, very frequently. So a home that may be within the district for whatever school this year may not by next year. There are so many other options and factors to take into consideration when evaluating schools, districts, and all of that. If, say, your child has an IEP, some schools may be better than others. Or, if there are really tough slash tight timelines with the adult getting to work, you may not be able to get a child to school if there is not public or organized transportation. Or, maybe you as the adult don't want your child or children to go to public school. I just touch on some of these possibilities to say that what is best for your child and your family may not be what is best for many other people. There are many choices, public schools, charter schools, and completely private schools to choose from right here in Hillsborough County. Even within the public school sector, the county offers this great program called School Choice that you can apply for, or you can always apply for a magnet school within the district. I went to a magnet school in middle school, actually. I loved it. At Hillsborough Schools, parents can choose from various schools based on their children's interests and way of learning. Options can be based on location, curriculum, interests, or system of learning, either brick and mortar, or they do also offer virtual options. If you wish for your children to attend the school where they are zoned, you do not need to do anything except register them directly with the school. For school choice, magnet, or choice hardship schools, you'll need to apply during their open application period. All school choice and career and technical school applications are subject to a computer lottery to choose applicants. Another big point that I do just want to share with anyone looking for a home within a certain school district is these district boundaries again can change year after year so if you want your children all to go to the same schools it may be kind of tough and if you buy a home within the school district this year there's a really really real chance that you could be zoned for a different school the following year. Hillsborough County at least is great about having a specific link to search for what schools a home could be zoned for this year. I'll link it down below so you can get right to it. Another great tip is while you're searching for a home, whenever you find a home that you like, you can always stick it right into the school locator link and check out where exactly this home falls within all of the districts, whether it's elementary school, middle school, high school, etc. And then you know, even before going to look at the home, whether it's where you wanna be or not, or what kind of schools to expect. Even better is that you can always go in as well and they grade every school in the county in the district and give them all letter grades so you know what to expect as well. So, um, wait a minute, Caitlin, you talked about magnet schools. What is a magnet school? A magnet school is a public elementary, middle, or high school whose curricula are theme-based and technology-rich. Magnet school teachers are specially trained not only in theme integration, but also in innovative and rigorous academic instructional methods. Magnet schools offer students opportunities to discover, explore, and refine their talents and interests, all while focusing on excellence in academics. Hillsborough County also offers what they call a McKay Scholarship, another choice option for students with an IEP or 504 plan. I'll also share the link for that down below. A McKay scholarship can also help with providing one of the following options. A private school that is approved by the Florida Department of Education to enroll students under the McKay program. You'll just have to contact the private school directly. Or 
an assignment to another district school which has space available. That includes appropriate services to the student other than the one to which he or she is assigned. Again, you will apply during the Hillsborough County choice application period or a public school in an adjacent school district which has space available and a program with the appropriate services for the student. Again, you will have to contact the adjacent school district directly or a charter school with the space available and the appropriate services for the student. Again, contact the charter school directly. Next up is home education. Home education, as defined by Florida law, is sequentially progressive instruction of a student directed by his or her parent in order to satisfy the attendance requirements of section 1002.41, 1003.01 and 1003.21. The law gives parents much freedom in directing and choosing the educational programs that best meet the student's needs. Parents are responsible for all aspects of the student's home education programs. Now, there are local co-ops for homeschooling and the such as well, not through the county. Next up is virtual instruction programs. In all virtual instruction programs, students learn in a digital space using a WIP-based curriculum with highly qualified teachers from Hillsborough County. Students have full access to their teachers for each subject whom they can correspond with via email, phone, instant message, or virtual classroom. It is also very important to note here that there is not only Hillsborough County Virtual School, but there is also Florida Virtual School. Those are two separate things. A student can enroll in both or either, depending on what courses they need and things like that. But just to make a note that those are two separate things and they do have separate enrollment and all of that good stuff. Now, what is a charter school? Charter schools are independent public schools operated by a nonprofit organization. They hire their own teachers, design their own academic programs, and control their own finances, totally separate from the county. They also have their own board of directors that make decisions for the school. Some charter schools choose to hire a management company to support school functions. Hillsborough County also provides before and after school care. After school programs were developed from a need within the county to assist families that needed a place, a safe supervised place for their children during the before and after school hours. This is aptly called HOST. The goal of this program is to provide the physical, social, emotional, and intellectual growth and development which children need in order for them to be successful. After school programs are affordable programs that are held during, before, and after school at 148 elementary and middle schools with 12,218 students enrolled. Both programs offer supervision and a variety of enrichment activities for children, kindergarten through eighth grade, and a daily snack is provided. Each program plans daily activities such as homework assistance, academic enrichment, art, crafts and games, outside games, and field trips. Program fees are approved by the school district. Host accepts school readiness child care certificates and are primarily staffed by a combination of district certified teachers, college students, as well as local high school students that are doing OJT on the job training and retired personnel. All staff members are screened, processed, and fingerprinted through the school district's human resources department. All students are carefully supervised and are only released to authorized persons indicated on the registration form. Also a very important note, students who live less than two miles from a school will not usually be eligible for transportation based on the state board of Education Rule 6A 3.0013. Options that include transportation for each area are located on the district website. I will link that down below as well. This link has completely up-to-date busing information for the current school year, now, in the present, at the time that you go to it. 
If eligible for transportation, please update your address at the, your school site ASAP to get your busing information. Safe Routes to School is a national, state, and county-wide effort to promote walking and biking to school and making walking to school safe, popular, and fun for families. I thoroughly enjoyed walking to elementary school the couple of years that I did. In an effort to decrease traffic congestion around schools and increase safety, academic performance, and wellness for HCPS students, Hillsborough County Public School, the Transportation Department has collaborated with Hillsborough MPO School Transportation Work Group. So I include all of this just to say, don't just plan to be in a specific school district just because everyone says it's a great school district. Make sure you do the research and find the best situation for you, your children, and the rest of your family. Because truthfully, all of the districts are great in their own ways. For more great information about the Tampa Bay area, subscribe to my channel here. And if you want to know more about certain areas, check out this playlist about all the suburbs.